Okay, back out on the 6.8 liter garage. Um, once again, working on, not working with, but working on the ArcDroid water table setup I've got going here. Um, I've got a couple things I want to do, and I got a new tool I get to play with. Uh, how do you say that? Wet soles? Wet, wet tools? Whittles? I don't know. It's a rib nut. Uh, one of the Amazon special rib nuts that was. I bought it because it was the cheapest one that looked decent. Uh, hopefully, it's it, hopefully it is decent, but I only needed a little bit. Got three bolts on here. I'm going to use it on. And uh, anyway, let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is the thing that I'm look least looking looking least forward to. I think would be the way you say that. And that is, I need to mo move this table out a bit. I could probably reach over, but I really want to do it from the back. So, let's see if I can move this without splashing all the fluid out of it. Easy does it. Got some waves. That was easier than I expected. So I'm gonna lock it in place here. And we'll see how difficult it is to remove that arc droid because that was some of some people's concerns like myself, I had that concern. But um, because all this stuff has to come off essentially to replace the, the sacrificial slats. And I mean, it's not, shouldn't be that bad, so we'll see. Uh, first step is to, I wanna lift the arc droid and its sled off of the sliding, the, the bracket. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. And that requires a four mil Allen wrench. Pretend like we're doing, know what we're doing. Four mil Allen wrench is to remove the lock, slide lock, because it's really the only thing that prevents you from lifting The arc droid. It's got a little lever that raises up on a track inside the track. And I'll slide it back so it doesn't engage anymore. And tighten it up so I don't lose, lose it in the cutting fluid. So now the arc droid should lift off to here no problem. Oh, there's a problem. It's over 35 pounds. That being the only problem. I should have gotten disconnected these cables. Well, not a problem now because the thing they connect to comes off as well. Okay, unplug it. Okay, now I've got three bolts, oh, three bolts and nuts currently. I'm gonna hopefully loosen those and let the nuts drop into the water. I won't need those anymore because that's the reason for the rib nut. So, let me give you a view of that. I'm 
You see what I'm talking about? Hopefully I don't have to stick my hand in the fluid. I can just get this to loosen up and come off. I mean, that's not really how my life works, but let's see if it works. Okay, so I cheated a little bit. No, actually the boss came out and she doesn't want to be on camera. And then I, so I turned the camera off and then I tried one more time and there must have been just a couple of threads left on this one because it came after that. So I didn't do any dramatic things like get my hands wet. I'm not opposed to that if I have to, but shouldn't have to, right? If I do this right. Okay, so make these holes a little bit bigger for the nut cert. Break my arm. Oh, smart guy. Might have stopped with the first hole and tried the nut search, huh? Hopefully, hopefully that's not a problem. Let's see. They fit in. This set comes with um, 11 mandrels for various different sizes, metric and standard. And the tool, one of the sets that it comes with is um, quarter 20. But the funny thing is it also comes with a quarter 20 installed. So you get two quarter 20 mandrels apparently. And it comes with various um, Quarter twenty, various sizes of nut certs. So works good for me because I just need three today. Okay, so take two. This wasn't nearly tight enough, I don't think. But again, if this works like it does on all the off-road fabrication shows I watch on YouTube, it might be as simple as that. Looks right. Now, quarter twenties work, so need a couple more of those. So 
That's the nut cert portion of our project, but that's not the real reason I took this off. One of the <clears throat> one of the comments that I got multiple times when I put this together is maybe I should add a splash shield underneath this to protect the slide and the arc droid. And I thought about buying a piece of metal to stick on that, and I almost did. And then it occurred to me, what I really need is a really thin piece of metal. Something that's geared towards uh, deflecting water. And it doesn't get much cheaper or easier than this. This is exactly 10 inches, which is exactly how big the track, the, the, track, the slider is. And it's thin and it was inexpensive, so um, yeah. It's 10 inches wide, but it's exactly 39 inches long, which is what? One meter. So, uh, back to the fact that this is made in China. Well, designed in Canada, made in China. Um, anyway, so I need to cut a piece of this metal, mark some holes, and punch some holes in this. I want it to go outside of the the uh, nut cert circle. I don't want to add any more depth to that. Um, yeah, because I don't want to raise the back end any higher. I mean, it won't be a problem, but I just don't want to start stacking materials back here. Okay, I started cleaning some stuff up, and then I was like, oh, I'll just lay out the this is a roll of valley flashing. I'll lay, out, lay out, I'll lay out the flashing and then I got here and I was like, I better turn the camera on because people are going to be like, what are you hiding from us? How many mistakes did you make <laughs> and not show us? Um, well, I'll mark that. And then... Mark that and then I'll just lay the track on top of it and make sure it's see if the track fits there. Thirty nine inches isn't nearly as important as covers underneath the track. And I think we have that. <sighs> Except that I think I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Why not? So I get these holes punched out. Like I said, I want these holes to be slightly larger than the rib nuts. I'm just not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. But that's the next step. Okay, I came up with a decidedly low-tech way to do this. I need a half inch hole. There's my test. Is that on the screen? There's my test. Um, we're very high pollutant around here. And I needed a piece of scrap wood, so of course we have maple that we tested a bunch of colors on. But I'm going to just use a half inch drill and drill a half inch hole. This is aluminum, so it should be doable, right?
Okay guys, that was a short and maybe very specific to me uh, project. Um, I added some flashing underneath the arc droid to kind of a splash guard, but honestly it just kind of uh, finishes it too. It just looks more proper, um, which I don't even know if that's justification for doing it, but I think I like it better and it'll keep, I don't know how much spray there would be, but it'll keep spray from coming up from underneath. So we got that, and then um, getting the nut surp set and using nut search to attach the arc droid slide, the times two slide to the um, Texas Metalworks water table. Um, I think that's going to work out for me in the long run because now I don't have to worry about getting a nut or a tool on the nut or getting my hands between these grates. So. I think that's going to be good. It'll make it uh, much less difficult to actually remove the arc droid from the table if I need, it, need to do that for replacing slats or whatever. So again, kind of more specific to my needs. I don't know that there's any or many setups like this yet. Yet, kind of think there might be some in the future though. Um, anyway, so that's the project for today. Uh, next time, um, we'll cut something with this. Let's say, unless my wife or I come up with a project that has nothing to do with this, but um, also get a uh, laptop guy. I don't know if you miss laptop guy, but we'll see if we can get him out here to draw something and we'll cut it. So even if I do come up with another project that's unrelated to the arc droid, uh, we will do something. Um, I promise the times two. Uh, I don't know if that'll be the next, I don't know if that'll be the next video we do, but I definitely have to come up with something that doesn't feel like just a waste of metal. I mean. Uh, thinking about the times too, that means I need to demonstrate it. I need to cut something wider than the 24 inches. Um, so if I come up with something three feet wide, but yeah, that's a three foot piece of metal, a 48 inch piece of metal. Um, anyway, I, mean, I, just, I just don't want to waste metal to prove that it works. Um, I'd rather come up with something that that I actually need to do or want to do for somebody. So. We'll get to it. We will do the times two table, even if I just have to find a scrap that that's wide enough and do a circle on this end and a circle on that end, just show you how it works. Um, we will get there, but uh, yeah, hopefully on the next video, uh, we'll get laptop guy back and we'll uh, do some cutting. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the store up, six point liter store. Um, you can pick up drawings for stuff I've done and uh, pick up a shirt, a hat, whatever. All of it helps uh, support this hobby of mine and uh, this channel that hopefully you all are watching. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this one.